All right, good evening, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with me on the chart, and this is the stock market analysis for today. Today is Thursday, June 12, 2014. And the Dow is down 100, almost 110 points today. Uh, it pushed a little bit lower during the day uh, and uh, closed at um, 16,734. So at one point, let's see, the low 16,703 last Thursday. Below 16,709. So literally, we retraced all that enthusiasm from the European ECB rate cut, uh, negative dis ne negative in, you know uh, interest rate, uh, unemployment report here on Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, we've retraced it all. Okay, and we're uh, sitting back down here, right? See where were we last Wednesday? 16,737. We're three points below where we were sitting uh, a Wednesday, a week ago yesterday. So, and now we've pulled back into this triangle, in this ending diagonal. So we're this is starting to look exactly like we talked about in terms of a throwover for move number five back into the triangle. I think the confirmation is going to happen as we were down below the 10 EMA, the blue line, okay, I want to see a continued move to the downside to confirm that that's what we're doing. The, the Dow Transports, I don't have that chart up, but the Dow Transports actually closed below the 21. No, I can pull that up real quick. Let me pull that up. Actually closed below the 21 simple moving average I've got in here for the first time since all the way back here, April 15th. Okay, so it's had a nice little move. Now it's closed back down. Could be just a correction type thing, but pretty pretty strong move to the downside today uh, with the Dow transports. So back to the Dow here. Uh, I you know what we're going to need. What's really going to confirm we break down out of this triangle, break down to the downside out of this thing here. So that's we're just going to watch to see. Do we continue to get more movement to the downside? You got to close below the 10 EMA uh, here on the S&P 500, pulling back in. Uh, the, let's see, where is the, well, I had it right here. New York Composite, let me blow that up. I don't think it, you know, it actually did. Let me, 10, 8.30, yes, it closed five points below the 10 uh, EMA also. So it's pulling back in. Um, the NASDAQ. NASDAQ's hung up above it a little bit, got downside day, but not nearly as dramatic as uh, as what's happened on the other two. So the NASDAQ is all of a sudden acting a little bit stronger. Russell 2000's continued its pullback, starting to look more and more. I mean, you can't say that this is truly a shoulder till we get more confirmation of the downside. I mean, this has got to break below the trend line. You got to you got to start moving down below. I mean, here's a potential port, a point of support. We're going to need to break below that to confirm that we're, you know, that something uh, has definitely, you know, like a, a a high in here has been put in. Okay, that's Russell Nasdaq. All right, let's take a look at the short-term trading index. We got a pretty high trend today. Uh, trend short-term trading index basically the same, uh, 1.70. And the you know here we've got the 10 EMA pulling back up, and let's see. The uh, I know we got the VIX somewhere. The high low index has pulled back down in here uh, after this big spike move. Uh, so now we're back down in this congestion. We haven't gone negative yet. So uh, until we start to go negative. Uh, that's going to be when the, you know, to me, the, the selling starts to kick in, the real weakness. Although this came down pretty quickly in terms of the net new highs. Would we have 96 uh, more new highs than new lows today? Well, for a down, for a down 100 point day, um, it's not too bad. Uh, where's the VIX? Okay, so the VIX had a pretty solid move to the upside today. And actually, when you look, I was looking at this earlier. Get rid of the crosshairs. When you look at the way the VIX was trading below the 50, okay, on the RSI, uh, below the 50 line, so this is all, like negative. When you stay below the 50, uh, it's kind of like what people look for 
uh, when you're above the 50, it kind of reinforces that it's moving to the upside. When it's below 50, it reinforces that it's moving to the downside. And you'll notice that, you know, once it got below 50 here, it stayed below 50 this entire time as it downtrended. Okay, well, all the trend lines, all the moving averages were negative and trending to the downside. Well, now all of a sudden we got this break back above uh, to the upside. And we got this pretty good move in here, uh, popping, you know, what is this, the highest close in uh, several weeks back since May 20th. So the highest close since May 20th. So that's uh, that's a little bit of a sign. I mean, we'll have to see. I mean, it's not surprising. Uh, wasn't much of a move yesterday, but, you know, given that we've had a couple of uh, big moves on the pullback, this is kind of confirming that. Um, be interesting to see if we get the moving averages crossing on the VIX, and uh, that will be interesting. Okay, so we talked about the VIX, the short term index, the high. Okay, we're going to look at four stocks tonight. I'm going to look at four, first solar, solar city, 3D systems, which we've got a trade idea on, and then uh, Stratasys. So those are the four we're going to look at. We haven't looked at them in a while. I think, well, we have on 3D systems, but. Uh, Let's start off with First Solar. Where is it? Okay. First Solar, my best interpretation of this is that it's in a fifth wave uh, uh, triangle of some kind in here. Okay. I thought maybe the fifth wave was ending here. You know, coming up from this low back here in uh, June of 2000, uh, May of 2012. I think we had wave one, two, three, Four. This did not overlap wave one. This was a expanded flat. Okay, correction. Four. I thought this was wave five, but we're getting these overlapping. If this was wave five and then I started to try to count an A, B, and then a C, it just didn't look right. And this B was too strong of a move for a flat correction. So the more I started to look at this, the more I started to think, well, really, we do have like a, a series of three waves here, here, here here, 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 and then this is a big overlapping, but it, the best count is to say there's some kind of three-wave action going on in here. So uh, the net out of this is to say, okay, if this is a triangle, we've got one, two, three, four, this is a fifth wave, okay, so like a final fifth wave before we start to correct, again, a big correction, that we still have a fifth move up in here. And What's interesting about that is that notice how the blue lines crossed above the gray, blue gray. So the 10s above the 21 in here. This is what I call my short term trend. So the short term trend has turned positive. The short term trend turned positive down in here before the 21 got above the 55. So the short term trend's got to turn positive before the intermediate turns positive if, if it's gone negative. I mean, you know what I mean? So like here, the intermediate went negative. You're down, you're selling off. The short-term trend turns positive first, then the intermediate turns positive, breaking above it. So this is the first step. And we got, we got a, a positive here. We got a positive here. We're getting a positive here. So that is leading me to think. Now, I'm a little nervous about the fact that this is still below and it's just crossed below. That's the one caution in here. So actually, you know, if I was super bullish about this position, I would sit back and say, oh, let's buy. But I'm a little cautious, and here's why. Because we're getting a cross here, a short-term cross to the upside, after you've been below the 55 for a little while, okay? And um, the same thing back here. After you've been below the 55 for a while, you get the cross. Well, this cross is occurring fairly soon after this in here. So it I'm just I've seen too many of these with a lot of these stocks here recently where the move, the 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 overlying move of the intermediate trend seems to be holding. And that if you think you can catch the the short term trend, uh, it's a little bit of the roll of the dice. So I guess my caution is here is if you want to go long, if you're really bullish on first solar, just uh, just maybe, you know, have a nice trailing stop in here to the upside, you know, if you want to play this move to the upside. Uh, and I think, you know, there's a good chance that it could move to the upside, but I don't I'm I just can't get myself as bullish on it to say, hey, I want to put a trade idea on it. OK, so that's uh, 
Solar City. Solar City is another one where the primary trend wave one, I think, has completed itself at a big trend one. It's retraced a little over 50% of that entire move, okay? And um, had a big strong wave three, wave four, did not overlap wave one, five waves in here. We've corrected back down, but this wave count is not very clear to me. And sometimes corrective waves are very difficult to map out and figure out. The, as best as I can tell, this looks like it's going sideways. So uh, it's really, really hard to tell. And my my gut is saying I think there may be more to the downside uh, with this because I'm not sure that it's corrected enough, but it has corrected a little over 50%. So that's, you know, that's the caveat on it. So the net out on Solar City is looks like it's chopping sideways. So um, need to be careful on, on Solar City. All right, 3D systems. Where is it? 3D systems. Seeing a pretty solid downtrend. And, uh, you know, again, here's this classic. We had the short term trend where it moved to the upside in here. And actually, I made money on this one. Okay. But I also knew that here resistance was going to come in. And I was going counter to the 55 day moving average. And I got out right in here. We made money. And, you know, two days later, it collapses. And it then is now reinforcing the fact that it's the trend is still to the downside. Got back in with puts in here. So far, it's playing out, um, you know, the way I want to see it. I'm still, my expectation is that this is still going to go lower. I'm targeting in my mind. I'm thinking down in here. Uh, we'll see whether it gets that far or not. And we'll see how it plays out here day to day. Uh, but right now, the you know, the uh, the 10 has broken back down below the 21. Okay, so it breaks above, the selling kicks back in, it breaks down below. So it always lags, but, um, you know, kind of like what it did up here. Broke above slightly and then broke back down below. And then here we go, you know, the trend reinforces itself. So that's why you're trying to look for an, another overlying uh, picture to say, okay, is there something more going on here? And um, so right now we're trade, we're, we're playing this to the downside. And um, let's see, the last one we're going to take a look at is uh, Stratasys. And Stratasys again also is in a you know pretty solid downtrend. And when I talk about this downtrend, again lower lows and lower highs. I mean you can see that, especially from this peak here and from here. I mean back. Boom, boom, boom. And see, we had this triangle in here, and then the projection of the triangle, the dotted line, boy, it hit it perfectly right down into here. And so now you got the blue line slightly above the gray in here. It's like wanting to cross, like it's trying to turn and trying to get bullish. I just can't get myself super bullish on it right now. I'm still, you know, this solid downtrend in here. The 21's below the 55. The 55's hard down. Um, you got this little trend line in here. Uh, I would, I, my leaning is I'm going to wait to see whether we get a turn back down and close back down below this blue line and uh, a setup to the downside for a break. So that's the way I'm leaning on this one. Uh, but again, no specific trade idea. And when you look at stresses from a bigger picture, um, I do think it's in uh, a big, you know, it's had these big, uh, primary one, two, three, we're in primary four, which probably will correct down into this area. So that would still, that's what leading me to think that we've got a little bit more to the downside to go. And the big picture on, on this is that we, it's, it's um, here's where we first started trading, here's the low. It looks like this was the first um, major move here, the major wave. Uh, up basic uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, corrective two. And then here we are in one, two, three. And I think we're in, uh, you know, again, primary wave four correcting back that typically will correct back down, usually down into this area. It doesn't have to go down to the bottom of wave, the previous wave four, but a lot of times it will. So that's why I'm slightly, that's why I'm leaning to the downside still. With Stratasys, not sure that it's gone the full boat. So 
Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. We'll see what uh, Friday holds. And uh, we'll talk to you again this weekend. And uh, again, my subscribers, uh, I hope everyone has uh, seen the email about the announcement about the um, uh, video analysis coaching uh, program that I've got out there. Take a, take a good look at that and uh, let me know what you think. Enroll if you're interested. And uh, hopefully check, check your uh, spam mail. Hopefully these emails aren't going to, uh, into the spam side. So. All right, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Have a great fr Friday, everyone.